Okay, hey guys, here, uh, something I did today um, was I took a the old fill valve out of my Kohler Rochelle here because I was just, uh, I was experimenting. I had these new parts in my shed and I wanted to try out and see. Well, this isn't new. This was a, this was a Kohler Rialto fill valve, or fill, flush valve assembly. And that's the one I had in the old case toilet. But since I fixed the case, I pulled the silicone back out of that so I can use it. Well, I wanted to show you guys that if you have an old Rochelle or even an old Pompton from the 70s, it has the old style brass valve. I already put the valve in the shed, I should, but you guys know what it looks like. And it's defective or bad, um, you know, and you don't want to spend the 350 to 400 bucks that it costs to get another one. Um, this is a $12 fill valve that I got from a local hardware store. Uh, and then this, of course, I, this is the Kohler Rialto and San Rafael style flush valve. Um, I had to order that online. I think that was like 30 bucks. Uh, but you can order them online. I don't know. There might be some plumbing places around in your area that might still carry those, but um, our Kohler dealers. Um, my local Kohler dealer that's just up the road here, they didn't have them in stock. They had to order them, but I got it. Anyway, we got it. Uh, it was a little bit cheaper, me ordering it. It was like $29. So anyway, um, you can install that where the flush assembly goes. And then the fill valve, I took that little sleeve out. And just make sure that you line up the hole um, that the, the fill valve goes down into because that hole under there on the Kohler Rochelle's and the Pontons is just slightly bigger. But as you can see, uh, it does still cover the hole and it seals and it does not leak. So we are good. So yep, I converted it over to a new style flush system. So the only thing is your rim rinse is going to be a lot weaker because it's just a small fill valve, you know, a little fill tube going in there. So. The rinse is going to be a little weaker, but the toilet still flushes just fine, and I will show you. And there you have it. A little bit of water still coming in the bowl from the rims, but it's not like a rim rinse when you flush. It's just going to fill the bowl back up. But uh, why is it changing colors? That's not the water. That's my camera. Weird. Getting a blue tint. I don't know if that's... There we go. Must be the lighting. That's strange. Anyway, so there you have it, guys. So in a last case scenario, if that's the way you want to do it, you can also do this. If you start having a lot of trouble with that flush assembly, on the other valve where it's the ball wants to stick or stay open or you have to hold the handle to flush it you can go to this new style here and that's how you, you can do it this way as well so you don't have to trash your old toilets this this would work with the Pompton as well as the Rochelle now the Champlains are different so the water line comes in over the tank and it's strange I, I don't have one of those toilets yet I'd like to get one for my collection and I've also noticed too this thing uses way less water it fills quicker shuts off much faster with this valve so probably going to save some water too so anyway there you have it guys you could also get the uh, 1b1 water guard conversion kit from Kohler and that's still close to a hundred dollars for the whole everything but that would be another thing that you'd have the little diverter there with the float on it and their tube would go in there so there's a couple different ways you can do it so all right there you have it guys the 1976 Yep, it says 76 on the toilet. You can't see it, but I'm going to go by that because the lid says 74. So but we're going to go with the tank, the toilet. 1976 Pink Rochelle converted. I might leave it like this. It uses less water. I was just doing this for an experiment, but I think I'm going to leave it this way. Works well. Thanks for watching, guys.